What's up guys, your boy Gavin the Titan here, and well, since I was AFK um, texting, they already started the boss fight, <laughs> and we're screwed, they're all gonna wipe. Wasn't ready, my bad. Anyways guys, so what I'm gonna be doing now that we're coming closer to Miss Pandaria, I'm gonna try to show a lot more of the class changes, and all that kind of stuff. And gameplay footage. So right now I'm showing you uh, shaman or restoration shaman uh, gameplay footage. And right now the restoration shaman, uh, everything's pretty much the same. Nothing's really changed too much about the restoration shaman. Like we still use earthen shield, riptide, chain heal, greater healing wave, healing wave, and then of course we have our manatide totems and the spare leg totem. <coughs> so for a restoration shaman, there's not like uh, really super huge changes like some of the other classes it's all pretty much the same nothing that great has changed but uh yeah guys so what I was saying is I'm gonna be showing you guys a lot more class changes and a lot of gameplay footage all that kind of stuff so the next one up after the shaman uh, well, actually, I'm going to go more in depth in the shaman in another video, like show you the talents that I picked, the glyphs that I have for uh, restoration healing as a shaman. Because my shaman on the actual servers, which is level 84, all I've been doing is healing, like all the way up to level 85. So, um, I know like, well, I know how to heal as, on a shaman pretty much. But, I'm going to be showing you after the shaman, after I cover the talents, glyphs, like I did the windwalker, or the monk. Uh, I'm going to show you guys protection pally. Or Pally, why I say Pally? Sorry, Protection Warrior, because my 85 Warrior show you the arms, Warrior changes, stuff like that. I'm gonna pretty much go over all the first. The first classes I'm going over, guys, is the classes I've already played, like or a class I have 85 that I know how to play. I'll be doing those classes first, the changes for all those first, and then after that, I'll move into classes I don't know how to play. So I'm gonna have to do like a lot of research for that, so I like so I know what I'm talking about, not just like rambling saying this has changed, you know, like so I actually know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so I'm going to do all the classes that have 85 already first, the changes for those, and then show gameplay footage of all those, PvP footage and PvE footage, and then I'll move into the changes for the classes that I don't have 85 and all that kind of stuff. So you guys are pretty much going to get like uh, reviews, all that kind of stuff for like all the classes. And did that just really hit me? How did that hit me? I'm like way over here. But yes, and Chain Heal did change. Uh, if you just saw that, the chain heal on the regular, let me see if I can hide behind the wall so I don't get hit. Okay, nice. Anyways, guys, chain heal before, it was like green. It was like a green line, and now it's like, well, you can't really tell now because I have this, my trinket just unlocked. Hold on one second. I mean, once it goes away in like three seconds, I'm going to show you. Cancel it. See, it's like, it's like, um, yellow. And it leaves like, yeah, see, it's like yellow. Before in the real servers right now, it's green. It's like it shoots a green beam, so... It changed a little bit, but I'm, I think there's a glyph to make it change it. Uh, I'm not sure that. I have to double check on that one. And I wish I could show you guys some footage, though, but uh, I kind of slacked off there and started texting, and then this is what happens. That's why you don't text while you're in dungeons, guys. Never do that. But then again, they could have uh, waited for the heals to come, because you don't want to leave without the heals. That's a no no. But yeah, guys, a lot of stuff. Ooh! Big thing, I'm also working on a game schedule, guys, for you guys. So, like, say Monday is going to be, like, just for, like, I'm just saying this. It's not, like, legit. I'm just saying it. But uh, Monday, would say, it would be, like, a Minecraft Adventures episode, like that. And then uh, StarCraft cast for Monday. And then Tuesday would be a viewer's Let's Play series. Uh, Wednesday would be a beta footage series, but some kind, kind of beta video. And then, like, that. So, like, each, like, day would be something else, if that makes sense. So like I'm, I'm I'm trying to work on a schedule for the day so you know exactly what's coming out on that day, if that makes sense. Because I'm posting like a lot of videos regularly, and I'm trying to make like a schedule that um that'll work or that not that'll work but um just a schedule for you guys. And it looks like they did take down the first boss without me. So yeah, that sucks. I'm not sure you guys some footage, but don't worry, we're about to see some footage after these guys are done here. As soon as I can get in. <coughs> uh, okay. And they got... Th can I use this? Yeah, I can, but uh, it's not really that much of an upgrade at all. 
I agreed on it. Ooh, I won. Nice. I got a lot of crap in my bags. A lot of, too much stuff if you ask me. I need to get rid of all this junk. Get all the, rid of that junk in my trunk. Junk in my trunk. Anyways, guys, I'm going to show you guys some healing right now. So, for those who don't know how to play a shaman. <coughs> Ooh. Play a shaman. <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, I'm going to tell you some things that you want to keep up. Your water shield, because that's going to replenish your mana, of course. Uh, earthen shield, you always want to have that on the tank. It has nine stacks, so always keep watch of the stacks. You always want to have nine stacks on that. Riptide is your hot. You want to have that on... You, you put that on anybody, pretty much. But, like, whoever's falling low, because uh, the cooldown's only six seconds, so it's not that great. So, you can use it, cause, like, a lot. And then, uh, if you have a lot of melee classes, that's really good for shamans. Because usually melee are all on the target, so they're close by. So when you use your chain heal, you hit all of them at once. So you, you can heal the group like really fast at once. So uh, that's why chain heal is really good when you're in a well when there's a lot of melee classes in the group. And uh, of course, healing rain you can use like right now. See, so I could I could be able to hit everybody healing them, but I don't need to because of course nobody's really dying. And most of the time, just having uh, earthen shield can like keep them up fairly well but of course you know you want to use some other healing abilities <clears throat> so now popping that chain heal see since there's like three melee like it hits all of them like we're, we're close by so it like it's gonna hit like almost everybody in the group which is fantastic also if you want to replenish your mana you also have your mana tide totem that uh it pretty much buffs your spirit by like a ridiculous amount <laughs> It's like 200% uh, of the catcher's spirit. And this lasts for 16 seconds. Which is more... I think that is more than the actual servers. I'm about to check after this video to make sure. And if I'm not, if I'm wrong, I'm going to put a comment on the actual, this video coming out. Because I believe that it is... I think it is longer than 60 seconds. In the actual servers, I think it's 10 seconds. I'm not, I'm not sure, so... Don't correct me, guys. I'm not sure. Just saying that's what I think. I'm not sure at all. But uh, I think it is. And then your Spirit Link Totem is like a AoE healing totem, which does a, a lot of healing, which is great. I, I like to use that um, during, like, boss fights. I like to save both those for boss fights. But, yeah. Because otherwise, else, my mana stays pretty well. Like, there's other classes that usually drain mana pretty fast or run out of mana, other healing classes. But Shamans, Shamans have... The, their mana is like, uh, what the, what's the word I'm looking for? Mana st st stability? That's not it. And the tank is starting to drop. So I'm going to pop a chain heal with the riptide. And then I'm going to pop just a healing wave. Normal one. I don't need the grading healing wave because I just heal too much. It's overkill. Overheal, I should say. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty. And the next boss, guys, is like right down here. So we just got to clear. Uh, just all this stuff on top right here and then the next boss and then yeah you guys see a boss fight and for those who don't know we're in uh, J Temple the Jade Serpent I think I don't want to sound like a noob Temple of Jade Serpent Ooh, I was right okay Ooh. okay anyways guys yes we're in the Temple of Jade Serpent also guys uh, for those who have been PMing me about the shout out Sunday I've got a lot of PMs, which is fantastic. So uh, it's gonna be hard to pick too, guys. I'm not gonna lie, but um, I wasn't expecting that many. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, see, look at that. I'm not even paying attention. Always wanna have Erin shield up. Wasn't even up. No, you should not fall. So when he's really low like that, um, another good thing to use is first of all reuse Erin shield if they don't have it. And then you use a greater healing wave and then riptide. Because greater healing wave when it crits right now in the beta servers with just this gear. This is like 378 gear, which is it's okay gear. Uh, you could I could get like up to 65k crits. And then plus once you use a riptide, the hot, and then you could like use whatever other heals. Watch, I'm, I'm letting them get it pretty low. And then I'm going to use greater healing wave, riptide. See, 62. Oh, that, that was a non-K. That was a non-crit, I mean. Sorry. So... Actually, you, you probably crit more than that, I must say. So, uh, yeah, when they drop pretty low, uh, always use greater healing wave first. Because if you use some smaller healing, uh, they still might die out depending on the encounter. So, 
yeah. And I, I, I don't mean for this to be like a guide. I know I'm like, I'm telling you guys, uh, this, I'm just giving like tips, I guess you say, throughout like this commentary. So don't take this as like a pro shaman healing guide and troll me because it is not at all uh, a pro healing guide type stuff. I'm just throwing out some tips for anybody that is uh, interested in playing a shaman or is just new to playing a shaman. Or that's trying to get into shaman healing, if that makes sense. Okay, now we're on this boss fight. And these guys are pretty damn ugly. Look at them. Look, look, look at their uh, character portrait. Uh, look at this. It's like a, um, what do you call those? Um, Cyclopses. Because they have one eye. Cyclopses. Pretty damn ugly. <laughs> pretty damn ugly. Oh, uh, someone disconnected. Come on. You had to do. Whoa, what the? Who? How did he drop so fast? That was. Yeah, that sucked. Now we're down. Okay, they reconnected. Yeah, I don't know how that person dropped so fast. I'm gonna pop a healing rain in there. Give myself a riptide. And we should be looking pretty nice for this fight. Gave the tank riptide, greater healing wave. Boom! So that's what it crits for. It, hits, it crits for 110k. And that's, I was wrong for 60. 110k. God damn. That's that's a big heal. That's nice. 110k. That's So if two of those and I could like uh, fully heal him like completely. And th this th my gear that I have on right now guys, it's it sucks. So if I had better gear, I could probably almost crit more than half of his health. Like probably 160 around there, 160k, I would say. And he's out of earthen shields, replenish that, riptide. Gotta heal myself. Gonna pop a spare link totem down. Healing rain. Ultra AoE healing right here, son. Let's do this. That's how you ultra healing right there. We're formatting this guys. Like straight bosses. And then replenish my mana. Oh, I love this. Dude, playing a shaman as a healer is like literally the funnest healing class. I'm being serious. Like, I played, I, I've healed a little bit on a druid. Not at high level though, so I can't really say how fun it is. But I've healed on a shaman at high level. And shamans are definitely, I think, one of the funnest healing classes. Although, he, healing on a paladin is also very fun, I should say. I've healed on a paladin too. And how are you going to disconnect in a boss fight? Come on. That's the other thing about the beta servers. A lot of people disconnect randomly, which sucks. Because we were just three manning it, we were doing good, but now it's just two manning it. And, um, yeah. Let's hope I don't run out of mana, so I'm going to be screwed. I'm at half of the way. Oh, crap. Well, we got one of them. Snappity snap. This is not looking good, guys. This is not looking good. Alright, let's just stick to chain heal for now because that has less mana uses, right? I think. Okay, so healing wave is 2k, 5k, and 7k. So healing wave is actually, we should use healing wave a little more. But healing wave only does 32k, that's not that much. I'd rather use this one to grade. Oh, he, reconnect, he reconnected. I, but I just said reconnected. Reconnected. Sorry, he reconnected, which is what we need. Oh god, this is not looking good. <clears throat> now nah, we, we should have this. My mana is not dropping too fast. But then again, I don't think... I'm not sure. I, I've ran this dungeon like three times, but I'm pretty sure after we kill this guy, there's another thing that spawns. Or they join together, I think. It's. I remember something like that. Oh, hell no, you ain't dying. You're not dying. You're not dying. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Why is he taking so much damage? <laughs> Why do you keep disconnecting, Rasnith? <laughs> Stop. Oh, okay. The, the Vegetic reconnected. 
God, see, th this is the thing about the beta servers that sucks. Everybody disconnects. It makes running dungeons really hard. Like, PvP, it's okay, because people disconnect and reconnect all the time fastly. But in dungeons and you're doing bosses, you could wipe really easily. Like, especially if, if the tank disconnects, you're screwed. You're screwed. And there it goes, guys. And that is a upgrade. Drop two of them. I'm going to take one of them off their hands. Uh, is it gonna drop? Where is it at? Uh, I think we all need loot on it. Alrighty, guys. So, anyways, this has been some of the gameplay footage for Restoration Shammy, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm not gonna do the whole dungeon because that'll be pr pretty long video. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> anyways, guys, uh, stay tuned for more footage from the beta gonna be doing uh the talents and glyphs for restoration chamois uh that'll be the next video i put out for the beta stuff getting moving into more gameplay footage all that kind of stuff uh protection warrior all that stuff so anyways guys stay tuned if you like this video don't forget to like favorite and uh big one share it with all your friends on facebook and twitter and i'll see you guys in the next video